been apathetic towards everything and everyone. All right, class. My name is Mr. Yamase. I'm going to be taking over for Mr. Sakamoto. It seems he had to resign due to a sudden illness. Hey, Miharu. Excuse me, Mr. Rokujo. So you want to walk home together? Who are you? Seriously? Why are you having such a hard time with my name? Koichi Aizawa, remember? Here's a trick. Zawa is the hardest to write in kanji. And ko in kanji also means rainbow. I'm always called first when the teacher goes alphabetically. It's been a pet peeve of mine since kindergarten. Uh, ah, uh, what? Hey, Miharu, wait for me! You got out of there fast. So, Miharu, it is okay if I call you Miharu, right? I mean, you can go ahead and call me Koichi if you want to. Now listen up. I've got a small favor I need to ask you. Sorry, but my grandma always told me not to lend money to strangers. Uh, wait, wait a sec! This has nothing to do with money! <coughs> Mr. Yamase, if you'll excuse me, sir. Sure, I'll see you tomorrow. Look, I want you to join my club. You've got a club? Mm-hmm. And we want you. Aizawa! Nice save, Mr. Kumohira. My daily training seems to be paying off. You should start training, Rokujo. You look like you could use a little toughening up. I think it'd be a great idea for you to join Aizawa's club. I've asked Mr. Kumohira here to be the club's advisor. I don't know how to describe it. I guess you could consider it an athletic club. It's going to be a well-rounded, highbrow sort of club that studies kendo, karate, and any other martial art that I may feel necessary to... Oh, man, not again! While it is going to be an athletic club, we're not going to focus on setting records or earning titles. Our main goal will be the complete training of both mind and body. I still don't get it. Uh, it's a ninja club. We'll learn ninja code through ninjutsu. You don't seem too thrilled by the idea, huh? Oh, hey, Shiratama. So I'm guessing that's your cat, then? Yep. Take some time to think it over, okay? You can get back to me any time. See ya! The 
wind. It's starting to pick up. Hmm, <laughs> I tell you, Miharu, your cooking's almost as good as your grandma's. And you're only in middle school. That's pretty impressive. Well, why don't we ask Mr. Hattori Tijuro, renowned political commentator, for his opinion? What's my opinion? I don't think it would be an exaggeration to say that the past can be a source of difficulty in a capitalist society. Each nation must come together and attempt to get past their individual histories and religions. Of course, there's no denying that it would require a great deal of power. However, if we can achieve that goal, then our future would be that much Mr. Hattori always looks so sharp. He's handsome enough to be a movie star. I can't seem to understand a thing he says, though. <laughs> Afternoon. Welcome! Oh my, it's Mr. Kumahira! Hey, what's up? I'm sorry about that. My hand must have slipped. <laughs> I've heard enough about your club. I'm sure there are plenty of other kids out there who will join. Listen, you have to join. You're being targeted, Rokujo. You can sense it, can't you? I get it. Yeah. From what I can tell, it kind of looks like you're the one who's targeting me, am I right? <laughs> Hot! To this day, Ninja or Shinobi continue to live on in the shadows. Really? You don't say. Uh, would you just hear me out? I mean, there's two sides to every story, right, kid? The shinobi have adjusted their way of life so that they may live on. You just won't hear much about ninjas in the real world. When I was a little boy, my grandfather decided to teach me the way of the ninja. I learned about Nabari, otherwise known as the world of the shinobi, where we can go undetected. Shinobi, are you trying to tell me you're a ninja? You better have some proof, because I don't believe you. Proof, yeah. Well, uh, 